Are you ready? Now. Ready. Shoot. For starters, I would like you to imagine uh, playing catch. I know it's not very exciting, but imagine if you would do it 4,000 meters higher than the ground, falling towards the ground, and playing catch with your friend with nothing but clouds and blue skies around you. Kind of changes the meaning of catch, right? Um, we are a group of uh, passionate skydivers and engineers, and uh, what, we're plan what we wanted to do was to uh, bring playing catch into skydiving. Um, has been tried before with tennis balls, but you have to fill them up with lead, lead, um, because you wanted to fall with the same speed as you are. But there's a problem. If you don't catch the ball, then it falls towards the ground, and it could possibly kill a bunch, a bus full of uh, one-legged belly dancers, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we don't want that. And drop zone owners very much hate that. So, um, skydivers have a parachute. Why might this not have a parachute? <laughs> well, deployment is a procedure, a very careful procedure. <laughs> We also tried it uh, quite a few uh, sizes and uh, tests, and he's alive, by the way. <laughs> um, and we figured out uh, how could it work. But uh, in real life, if the ball lands itself, you need to track it, otherwise you're gonna lose it. So what we did was we, um, uh, we connected the ball with the owner's uh, phone. So all you really have to do is ask, where's my ball? And the ball will send the message back. <laughs> so it's like, a, like, a, like we like to say, it's a girlfriend that always answers your messages. <laughs> um, yeah, so it has, has found that it's uh, actually here. Wow. <laughs> and. Um, this was what we accomplished during those uh, two days. Um, we came together with a very uh, fresh idea, something that would uh, change the skydiving community. Uh, we were very surprised to see that if we're very passionate about something, it can come together and uh, form a primary pro prototype that we can move on from. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to um, redeveloping it and uh, taking it to the sky in March. Thank you. Any Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> great, great. You have a question here right away. Yes, Jory. Do you actually have a GPS res response here inside the room? There's a GPS, yes, and there's a GSM to connect with the phone app application. Okay. That's unbelievable, but it's very nice. Okay, there was a question there. <laughs> Does the it parachute does. self deploy? It does. That's uh, the parachute is connected with um, uh, with an opener that is connected with a GPS, and the GPS detects how high the parachute is. If it's too low and it's still free falling, it deploys its parachute. Yes. Uh huh. Um, Do could it be a risk for uh, the skydiver himself? The altitude of this is a lot lower than your opening altitude. You cannot open as low as this ball does. Okay. It's, it's too late then. One more <laughs> question, then we're done. There, there, let's take Nigel. <laughs> so w when Nigel yeah. is back in his own wheel, there will be tons of parachutes over the head. Yeah, but you don't have to wear a helmet because they'll have parachutes. Okay, wonderful, <laughs> thank you very much. You did a great job, guys. I especially enjoyed watching you test it on the roof. Thank you very much.